Today I'm here with uh, Malax Guides, Brad Hawthorne, and Bob Carlson, just back from the MTT Championship. Your boys placed second with a total weight of 27.48 pounds. Congratulations on the finish. Thank you. Um, I have a few, few questions for you guys. Um, Brad, how is fishing like the woods different than Malax? You know, it. there was a lot of similarities. Um, water color up there is a big factor. You know, the, the water was worse than coffee. I mean, it was really dark, so that uh, lure selection was, was key up there. We used really bright, zappy stuff. You know, and, that, and as far as, like, contour trolling and things like that, um, as far as the way we worked the structure was very similar. Bob, with this tournament having a too big fish limit, you weigh two fish on the first day. What was your strategy going into day two? Well, Mike, uh, you know, with, with the first place team having a four and a half pound lead on us, uh, um, we basically just thought we, we needed to put the four best slots that we possibly could uh, in the box on day two. Um, we had uh, our objective was to go and fish the same areas uh, and, and, uh, and, and catch fish, basically look for four nice slots. Uh, throughout that day and the second day, uh, we, we continued to catch, uh, you know, junk fish, uh, 20, 23, 24 inch fish. And uh, we elected to downsize our lures uh, and go a size smaller in our baits. And uh, as it turned out, uh, it, it put a, a few of the key uh, slots in the box for us. Uh, we didn't catch a lot of numbers, but we caught the right fish at the right time, and um, we had our four fish in the box by 11.30 on uh, the second day, so we were sitting pretty good. Bob, how did you guys uh, prepare for the championship? Well, Mike, that's a good question. Uh, we actually uh, had some meetings prior to our trip up to Lake of the Woods. Uh, we talked about strategies. We talked about equipment uh, needed uh, for the trip. Uh, we went up there with a truckload and a boatload of stuff. Uh, and as it turned out, we ended up uh, going shopping uh, during uh, the pre-fishing up there, looking for uh, some new baits and, and colors and such. Uh, we just didn't have enough with us, I guess. But uh, we prepared. We we prepared very well for that trip. Yeah, we made a mad dash right before the tournament. You know, the night before, right to town, and, and uh, actually bought a few select lures. And you know, it actually helped build your confidence. But it was, you know, running up there and. Digging through the bait shop, and I remember the bait shop owner was like, "Are you guys fishing the tournament?" And we're like, "Yeah." <laughs> we, tr we tried negotiating too, with it, with it, it the, didn't work. Didn't yeah. Work, no. Brad, this is your first NTT championship. What does this mean to Brad Hawthorne? You know, it means a lot. You know, that was definitely it was my first championship. This is actually my first tournament season, and to to make it to the championship. And to go up there and finish so strong, you know, against anglers, you know, like Paul Schneider and Kurt DeCamp, they're they're really good anglers, you know, and they had us day one, you know, they they definitely outfished us. I caught their big fish were bigger, and we knew we were we were fighting for second or third place coming in, and uh, it meant a lot to be able to compete on that level with anglers that you know I respect a lot of those guys on that circuit, and just to be up there in the ranks with them was pretty cool. Bob, this is your fourth MTT championship. How does this compare to years past? Well, it, it, it was pretty special. Um, the, the the previous uh, championship that I participated in was back in two thousand eight. I, I I did uh, I was absent the past two years, uh, but this one was pretty sweet. Uh, fishing the, for the first time with Brad here um, and finishing second, uh, it's pretty hard to top that. Uh, first place would have topped it, but. Uh, Second place was pretty sweet. Guys, thanks for answering my questions. Uh, good luck next year. Appreciate it. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, thanks, man.